Hey, this is Lee. I want to do a quick video about time and the judgment and works. And as you can see on the screen here, Revelations 20, 12, and I saw the dead small and great stand before God and a book and the books were opened and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books. Notice an S here, books, according to their what? To their works. So when people say that works won't get you there, no, it won't get you to heaven. But works are going to be a part of what we're judged by. So let me give you an analogy. When I was a kid, I had done something wrong. I can't remember exactly what it was, but I had to write sentences. I will not. And this was on a Thursday and I didn't do them, stubborn. And they said, okay, uh, I got that as on a Friday. And he said, okay, on Monday you have to have these in or you're getting three whacks from the principal. <clears throat> so I went home, and Friday night I played. Saturday I played all day. Sunday was church day, two, two times, Sunday morning, Sunday night, very little time in between. Monday morning I got up knowing that I did not write these sentences and that I was going to get a whack. So they called me, asked me for the sentences, didn't have them, took me to the office. The principal said, did you do them? And I said, yeah, I did them. And he said, you can call your mom. Maybe she'll bring them because I used the excuse I didn't bring them to school with me. All along knowing that I didn't do them. So my mom tears the house apart. She comes over to the school finally and pulls up and I would go out to the van. Now, remember, I knew I didn't do these sentences. And I go out, and with a pitiful face, I say, where's the sentences? I couldn't find them. And I said, Mom, i got to have them. They're going to give me a whipping. And she stopped, and she said, go take your medicine. Turn around, shut the van door, and go take your medicine. You didn't do those sentences. And I whined and cried, and tears were coming down. I was in, like, third grade. And I shut the door and took the long walk of shame back up the walk to Eastwood School into the office and I said she couldn't find them I don't know what happened well, I was still not admitting that I hadn't done it he said okay you're going to get three wags grab the desk I leaned over and grabbed the desk and he three times he blistered my back pockets and I went to class with tears running on my face people knew I got a whack for not doing what I was supposed to and all along I'm still playing this game like I did it and I got home and my mom told me, when I get home, you're going to get in trouble too. So I went home and I sat at the kitchen table and I said, she said, did you actually do those sentences? And I hem hauled around and finally, you know, I said, no, I didn't do them. So she said, just go upstairs until supper. I, I just don't even want to talk to you. And I walked around the corner and she had a belt. Bam! She hit me in the tail end. So my backside got a lot of punishment that day. And then my, I waited till supper and... All the time blaming everybody else. And my dad come home that evening for supper. And he I come down to the kitchen table and he said, did you do those sentences? Now, I wasn't necessarily but kind of afraid of the whipping. I wasn't definitely wasn't afraid of the whipping from my mom. But there my dad sat at the table. And he said, did you write those sentences? And I said, no, I sure didn't. He said, I'm not going to whip you because you sound like you've had enough for today. And this is what it's like in the judgment. We're going to put off day to day to day. We're not going to read. We're not going to share the gospel. People are not going to go to church. They're not going to do the things that they were supposed to do. And we're going to play every day like there's just there's always a tomorrow and there's no promise of tomorrow. So we have to get busy and do what we're supposed to and stop doing what I did all through the weekend when I should have written my sentences. Playing like Monday's never coming. And that's what people today are like. We're living every day as if Monday's not coming. Now look at me in the camera. Monday is coming. And right here in Revelations 20:12, I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. The books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were in the books, according to to their works monday is coming for you are you really living up to your potential are you living what god's expecting of you are you doing what you're supposed to as a christian because monday's coming 
and it's going to be too late. There's no time to run and write the sentences at the last thing or to do a few good works at the last moment to stand before Jesus and give an account for a lifetime of laziness. That's my video. I wanted to do this video and use that analogy. It came to my mind when we were talking earlier. And I just felt compelled to do this. Stop putting off what you know you need to do and just get busy because you're going to get blessed for it. So it's a good thing. Work and do what God wants you to do. Do make right decisions. Stop being lazy and do it. And then you'll be rewarded at the end. And when he, you stand before God, because the Bible says it once appointed unto every man to die and then the judgment. So when you die, because you're not guaranteed tomorrow, you'll stand before him knowing you have done your very best. And that is a little comfort in something that makes us all nervous. We're all a little scared that we've done enough and we're doing the right things. And I mean, that's what Satan uses against us. And some of the worry comes because we know we're not doing our best. So today's a new day. Start today and start doing your best and start doing the works that you need to do. Share the gospel. Read the gospel. Preach it. Sing it. Shout it. Love one another. Forgive somebody that mistreats you. If somebody asks forgiveness, forgive them. And then when we stand before him, we'll have a chance. And that weight won't be so heavy on us because we'll be so happy, busy, working that we won't think about not working. Because you only worry about it when you're not doing the right thing. I love you with all my heart. Like and subscribe. Stop back. Do more. Christmas is coming up. And I wanted, I'm going to do a video for Christmas, Lord willing. Uh, pray for us here. We're praying for you. And remember, we love you with all of our hearts, no matter who you are in the world, where you're at, what your background, what you've done. It doesn't matter. We love you. And we are praying that you will find your way to God if you haven't yet. And if you have, we're praying that you have strength and courage to do what you know you need to. We love you. We'll be back soon. Bye.